John Gibson trade rumors. A lot of people are saying, should we sell high on John Gibson? And I don't know how I feel about that. No, I don't think there's any validity to it. Like, I think the biggest reason that Gibson keeps getting tied to Pittsburgh was that comment from last year of, you know, he, like that Gibson wants to win, which yeah. fair, I get it. Mm-hmm. But also, so it was just that. And it's like, okay, we can tie him to somewhere. He's from Pittsburgh. So why wouldn't oh, you yeah. want to play for the hometown team? Yeah. Like, I think that's, that's really, that's been the main thing I've seen for any links of John Gibson to Pittsburgh. Obviously, if we were looking to trade, yes, you are selling absolutely skyrocket high. Oh, the return's going to be ridiculous. Like, we're talking would, higher than Jack. Eichel. It would have to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because he's a goalie who is, I just really, honestly, just at the start of his prime. Yeah. Like, this is when goalies are normally breaking into the league, mm-hmm. right? The guy's been around for years already. He he knows the NHL game. I read off his stats earlier in the episode, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, so I th- that's that's really all it is. It's that, oh, he's from Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh needs some goalie help. That's literally the only basis for this rumor, and it's been going on for months. But I have seen, like people talking about it now and like making mock trades. Marcus has one here as well, just because we're talking about it as well. But, um, which I guess we can pull up here. Uh, he's saying John Gibson to Pittsburgh for a, um, John Gibson, John Gibson and a 2023 sixth to Pittsburgh for, um, Pittsburgh's 22 first, 24 third, 22 fourth Casey to Smith. And then he adds a prospect, um, down below as well. I'd even say probably yeah. like a it has to be a high level prospect and maybe like a depth forward or depth defenseman or something. Like there's going to be yeah. a lot for John Gibson, especially right now with how well he's been playing and how well yeah, the Ducks if, are doing. So if by chance Gibson gets traded, which again, I don't think it's happening. Mm-mm. Like based off of what's actually out there, it's not happening. No. If there is let, let, we'll go with the point zero 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 one percent chance that this is happening, right? Or this season or in the next two. Let's go with that. Mm-hmm. You are getting a very high end goaltending prospect coming back, minimum yeah. plus mm-hmm. a first round pick for the that year and potentially even the next. Yeah. I think, right? And like, I'm trying not to look at this from because definitely when we we saw it with the Eichel stuff as well, mm-hmm. right? From Buffalo fans. When you're, you know, you get kind of stuck in that mind frame. I'm trying to look at this from outside. What would I actually be willing to give up for John Gibson? Yeah. Right. So if I'm the Pittsburgh Penguins, what am I willing to give up? Mm-hmm. You also or have to look I, at his deal, though, too. Yeah. John Gibson signed for, what is it, the next four or five years at $6.4 yeah. so million? Dollars? Are you kidding me? Back. Yeah. That's a, an insanely good exactly. deal for what there's, John Gibson yeah, provides. Yeah, there's so many different things that, like, yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's going to be way too... Like, if you thought the Ricard Raquel stuff last year was high and obviously he didn't get traded for it, imagine that for John Gibson. It's not yeah. fucking happening. No. No, it's not. Unless the Ducks, all of a sudden, after this win streak, go on, knock on wood, like a 20-game losing streak where they just look awful and everybody sucks except for John Gibson. If that happens, Sure. We'll talk John Gibson trades. But until then, it's not happening. But so, even then, I don't know, honestly. I'm sick of talking about it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Depends how yeah. badly Gibson wants out, right? Like, if he wants to yeah. win and he gets a taste of it, and then all of a sudden the team just, like, shits their pants collectively at the same time, then 